Ag Hoyth, yes. Nick Collection, yes. Nick Collection 5. A hundred and thirty-five pounds. <laughs> oh dear Lord. Now, a few years ago, back in November 2019, I actually put this video up to show you how you could get Nick Collection, what they call 2012, uh, from DxO uh, for free and get it running inside of Photoshop. Because there's a, there's a, there is a little problem getting this to not crash Photoshop. Now, when I did this video, I actually, if I go show more, I actually put a link in here which would take you to this page. And all you have to do is put your email in there and they'd send you a link to where you could go and download what is to all intents and purposes, Nick Collection 2016 uh, for free. Yes, and it worked wonderful. Now, I had a couple of emails, to say the least, saying that this no longer worked. And I never, I tell you, naughty boy, I never really addressed it. So I thought I'd address it today. Yes, right, now then. This will apply to people who were running on PC and they never had the funny little problem in Photoshop 2020 or Photoshop 2021, as far as I know, of uh, this Nick collection, so-called 2012, uh, which is actually 2016, actually crashing Photoshop. But for Mac users, it used to. So the only thing is, if you click this link now, all we get is that. Yes. Try Nick Collection 5 for free. So what they've done is they've been a bit naughty because I thought, rightly or wrongly, that the whole part of the deal of DxO taking over the Nick Collection from Google, yes, who was supplying it for free, uh, was that they always kept the Google version uh, on their website for you to go and download. That is how I understood the deal to have gone down. And so now they've hidden it. They've got it somewhere, but they won't tell you where it is. And I've tried desperately to try and find it. But when Photoshop on the cloud changed to Photoshop 2022, if you have the problem of your Nick collection disappearing. Let's fire up Photoshop, all righty. And uh, you can see, if I go in my applications, you can see Nick collection. I've got all the software, all the Nick software, and it will all open as a standalone. But if I go to filter, they have actually disappeared which is not really all that good, is it? Well, let me just show you. First off, if I come to uh, my Finder window, and this, I suppose, will happen just the same for Windows users. When Photoshop on the cloud updates from, say, 2020 to 2021, it doesn't remove all traces of the previous version of Photoshop. What it does do, it keeps all the integrity, the structural integrity files. And so here we are in Photoshop 2022. And if I open it, yeah, plugins and filters, nothing there at all for Nick or Google or the Nick collection. But if I go back to Photoshop 2021, plugins is a DxO folder. And if I open that folder, you can see that I've got access to all of the original Nick Collection programs or facilities or utilities or apps, call them what you like. And if I go back to Photoshop 2020, whoops a daisy, we go back to Photoshop 2020, in plugins, you can see that I've got this folder called Google. Yes. And in there is exactly the same stuff. 
Now, if you're on a Mac, you should s still see all of this in your applications folder. And if, if you were on a Windows machine, I suggest you go and have a look at your programs folder. Though how they structure their programs folders in Windows, I've no idea. But suffice to say, if I just right click and go copy this DXO folder, and I come down to Photoshop 2022, and I go to plugins, and I'll double click plugins to open it up, and then I just go to edit, and I go paste item, and then I have to type in my system password. Bop, 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 bop. Um, hang on, I've lost my place. <laughs> There we go. All righty. So it's copying uh, that folder, that DXO folder, over to the plugins. Right for us, Photoshop 2022. Now, for that to take effect, I've actually got to go and quit Photoshop. So I'll say don't save and uh, wait for it to quit out. I mean, honestly, you know, I mean, Jesus. If we go back to that video there and uh, go to another place, you can see that, what, back in 2019, they were actually charging £62.90 something for it. And yet, oh Lord, 135 so it's nearly doubled in price. Yeah. So anyway, now let's go back to the serious business. Let's open Photoshop back up, rather like that. And then I'll go to File, uh, Open Recent. Let's open it up. And there it is, click Open. And now, if I come to my filters, Nick Collection, yes. So we've got the same little chore to do uh, that we had in the video from 2019 or 2020 or whenever it was. And uh, so all I'm going to do is make a duplicate layer of that image. And then we will go to filter and we'll go Nick collection. And I'll just go to Silver Effects Pro 2. Update available. No, thank you. Oh, no chance. <laughs> they must think I'm crackers. And all we'll do is we will just go with this black and white conversion here. I'm just going to make it look like it's somewhat infrared by putting it through a yellow filter. And I'll come to details and open it up. And we'll change the strength of the yellow filter and I'll increase it to something rather like that. And now comes the critical bit to avoid the Photoshop crash. We have to come to settings and go to after clicking OK. And by default, this is set to apply the filtered effect to a separate layer. This is where the architecture of this um, edition of Nick Collection falls down because Photoshop changed the way this sort of thing worked and obviously this Nick Collection uh, doesn't take into account or doesn't accommodate that little change. So what we have to do is we have to switch that out to apply the filtered effect to the current layer and then click OK. And you have to do that for every single one of the Nick Collection applications that you've got on your system as plugins. All right, because that is the only way you will stop this from crashing Photoshop. So all we need to do now is go and click OK. Um, we'll just let it render it out or render the conversion out. And there we go. Lovely jubbly. So we've now got a black and white, sort of semi-infrared looking um, version. And, you know, you might fancy that. But personally, 
I might want to go and put it in the multiply blend mode and oh my god, wow, that's made a mood and drama change, hasn't it? Or really and truly, I could just go and put it in the luminosity blend mode. Uh, that does not look too good, but soft light really does make a difference because what we're doing is with the subtle soft light contrast algorithm, we're actually blending the black and white uh, with the underlying colour layer. So I rather like that. And then, of course, what we could do is open up the blending modes. And if I don't want to see quite so much in the shadows, we could out-click to split it off and just sort of lighten up the shadows just a little bit and click OK. And there's the before image, there's the after image. All righty. So it's as simple as that, really. Now, the big problem is I haven't actually got the original DXO DMG file or the original Google DMG. That's DMG, not DNG. DM for mother G. And I've tried searching for them all over the old internet. So if anybody's got an original copy of either the DXO DMG file from when it was free, or even the original free Nick collection from Google DMG, then if you're feeling generous, you could always drop box it over to me. That would be useful. But I have searched all over the old interwebs trying to uh, find or gain access to these DMGs. And all I can find, really, that um, seems to be, oh, how can I put it, kosher, is this. And if I come to this website here, and I'll put this link in the description panel below. And you can read this link. And uh, what we can do is go to this page at archive.org. And uh, archive.org is, it's a clean place to get stuff from. Um, so, you know, you could come here and download the Nick collection of filters for Mac and Windows 1.2.11. And that is what DXO took over from Google. And so there you go. So for the DMG file, which is 589.5 meg, you could go and download it there. And for the Windows executable, which is 429.2 meg, you could go and download it there. I have not downloaded either as of yet, because really and truly, I don't need to. But if you do go and download them, I'll go and I'll use you lot as guinea pigs. If you go and download either or, what I suggest you do is disconnect your computer from the internet and just give it the once over with your antivirus and anti malware uh, software before you actually decide to try and execute them. And uh, let me know how you get on. And uh, if they do work, that would be great. And if the Mac OS one works, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys. So there we go. And uh, what have we got left to say? Not a lot, really. The actual um, filters themselves, if we come through them, um, Nick Collection, Analog Effects Pro eh, can be useful. Color Effects Pro can be useful. Uh, Nick Define 2 used to be useful, but to be quite honest with you, Topaz Denoise AI just kicked seven bells of you know what out of it. HDR Effects Pro 2, um, never really um, understood the purpose of that myself, and I've never used it. Sharpener Pro 3, and uh, a raw pre-sharpener and output sharpener. Just really, really no excuse for using them, as far, for me, as far as I'm concerned, uh, because I actually use Automate 
Uh, where are we? Yes, I use photo kit if I need to raw sharpen or output sharpen uh, from Photoshop, which is something I never do anymore. I always do it out of Lightroom. But uh, to get back to the Nick stuff, there we go, that's those two dealt with. Silver Effects Pro 2, worth its weight in gold sometimes, as you've just seen. Because not only can you use it for creating a multitude of black and white variants of your image, which you can then use as standalone black and white, or you can use to um, change the appearance of coloured images, as, <laughs> as we've just very clearly shown with this image in the background here. Uh, but also, you can actually, if I come to channels, I can pick out any one of these masks from this altered image and use them as a luminosity mask or whatever or I could indeed turn off the background layer now come to channels and I can use the RGB or the red or the green or the blue because they're all the same because it's a monochrome image I could actually use these as masks as well by just command clicking on them and then doing the masky masky thing so, uh, you know, I mean, it's really, really, really worth having access to... Uh, Command Z to undo that. It's really worth having access to the NIC software or certain elements of it. And, of course, if we come back to filter again, NIC collection... Um, so that's Silver Effects Pro 2. I mean, it, it, it's worth jumping through these hoops just to get all of Silver Effects Pro 2, to be quite honest with you. Viveza, never really understood it. Um, never used it, not really. I have used it, I know what it does, but no, nah, no, nah, not really. But, you know, considering you can have these for free, that's fair dues. And the only thing I know that um, they've actually given you... Um, inside the new version of Nick Collection is, uh, where's it gone? Uh, bub, 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 Nick Collection Shop. And it's that um, perspective thing, wherever it's gone, I don't know. Uh, but there's a perspective distortion correction module with it. And, I mean, really and truly, you can do that in the likes of Lightroom. You can certainly do it in Photoshop without the necessity for something that you pay for. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. So, anyway, guys, I hope that uh, that video's proved useful for you and uh, you've learned something uh, that might help you out, get you out of a bit of a sticky situation. And, uh, yeah, so until the next time, guys and gals, stay safe, stay well, keep taking the pictures, and uh, I shall see you very soon. Well, I won't see you, but I'll speak to you. You know what I mean. See you later, guys. Tooroo.